Hey, so I'm about to take this book to the library because that's where it belongs. And I thought I'd just mention really quick because I did read the whole thing. Uh, it's Soundless by Rochelle Mead. And um, uh, there's nothing objectionable in this book. Um, and I read the whole thing. But there was also nothing really special about it. Uh, the premise is an entire village is deaf, cannot hear a thing. And they are mining, they're a little mining village, and they send metal up to, up to, up a zip line to the township. And then in return, they get food and they're starting to go blind. And so we're like, well, can we just get the same amount of food for just a little less metal for a little while until we figure this out? And they said, no, you are getting way less food. And so this girl, I think her name's Faye. Um, said she has to leave the village and try and save the village. And uh, so it turns out that maybe she can hear now. Um, so, so it's basically just kind of a saving the village sort of thing. But I like to find, but probably not gonna like look at it again if I happen to pass it on the library shelf. Which is a great notification, a great um, indicator of if I really like a book. Is if I think, oh, should I check that out again? Sometimes I do, but not very often. Hey, so I'm pulling a Lizzie Bennett, Lizzie, I mean Lydia Bennett, um, for my vlog today. Uh, checking out my new phone thing, and I just want to talk about this book. Um, I'm going to try not to move so much. It's hard to, I don't know if I can talk about a book and hold it at the same time without moving it anyway. So this is a book that I forgot to put on hold, but luckily my mom did put it on hold. It's a, I need a selfie stick. Um, it's Jeweled Fire by uh, Sharon Shin. And let me tell you, I love, well, I really love, love, love the first book in the series. It's called Troubled Waters, and we own it. And almost every time I come home, I just kind of pick it up and read it for a while. It's just very soothing to me. And this is the third in the series. The second is Royal Heirs. I don't remember very much about what happened. And then this one is about Princess Corrine in a different country. And I did like it. So if that's a ser if it's a series that you've been following, I would recommend this one. Um, it is... Um... Yeah, it's good. So how this series works, I have a hair. Um, how this series works is um, there's like elemental blessings and the primes have special powers with the blessings and Corrine's not a prime so she doesn't have power but she does still use the elements to kind of guide her life and she goes to a new kingdom to see if she wants to become, like try to marry the heir to this empire and Seems like other things are going on in the kingdom that maybe marrying the heir should not be her first priority. So yeah, um, I liked it, and if you want to talk about it, I'm more than happy to talk about it too. Alright, thanks. Okay. I hope it worked. Bye.